Hello and welcome to Greeting Star. I'm so glad you could join me today. So today I have a card for you that's made using supplies from the Simon Says Stamp monthly card kit and it is the March 2021 kit called Spring Windows. And uh, some of the supplies here that came from this kit and I'm going to be using them to make this card. You can see the pretty dies and the distress markers and these cute little um, sayings. I do also use some more of the pattern paper that I didn't show here. Um, but we're going to start off by making the card base. So I'm just going to trim it in half at five and a half inches. And then I'm going to use my scoring blade to score this at four and a quarter. So now we have a four and a quarter by five and a half A2 sized card base to work with. And I'm going to set that aside and trim up this pattern paper here. Now I will trim it down a little bit more later because uh, I mean this is the normal size that you would trim it down to. But I'm going to add these black strips. I'm just trimming those down. I'm going to use them to be act as sort of a mat for this paper so you'll see that once once I get done cutting these out and putting them on the paper I do want to go ahead and do some more trimming on that pattern paper so you'll see that as well and I take about I would say um, a fourth of an inch on either side just because I'm adding that mat and then also with this uh, paper I'm going and that also came from the kit by the way I'm going to trim off a piece of this so that those white stripes aren't showing the vertical white ones only the um, horizontal ones are showing and I'm going to put that over on the left side of the card so I'm just going to put some adhesive and then attach those black strips to the top and bottom and uh, this is where uh, when I put it up to the card you can see that it's just a little bit too big so I have to go ahead and um, trim that up a little bit with my paper trimmer so that just left a little bit of an edge around the the top and bottom but I wanted a little bit more of that blue showing um, I mean what's the sense of having the blue card base if it's if it's not going to show very much so I go ahead and remove those black strips um, and cut it down for about another fourth of an inch on both sides which you'll see in a moment I'll cut it the, the um, other side as well so I'm just uh, kind of playing around here to see what I want I sat down to make the card today and and just wanted to hurry up and get it done just because I had other commitments and I all the, I would love to have just all the time in the world to to make cards because I really enjoy it and it's such a blessing to me but sometimes I have to hurry to get it done <laughs> so I'm using my precision press stamp now with this beautiful water watercolor paper and this gorgeous stamp uh, set here and I'm going to only be using the flower portion not the window portion so I'm going to tape off the part that I don't want and uh, once that's I'm using a low tack tape here it's just some painters tape some blue painters tape and I'm using this Ranger archival ink because when I use those distress markers that's a water-based um, medium so I want to make sure that it, the uh, the ink doesn't run so that's why I did that now I'm just going to tape this up again because I it needs a second impression so once I get done with this and that's what I love this tool for because I'm telling you it's it's always a uh, just so upsetting when you don't get a good impression the first time around so now I'm using these water brushes and the distress markers on this acrylic block you can see this is kind of a fine uh, pointy brush and I'm just gonna pull out some of that color I want it to be pink so I'm not uh, using a lot of the red I'm trying to you know only use a little bit and for some reason my lighting's not very good you can't it doesn't even look like there's any pink or red hue at all on those flowers but there is and you can see it on the card um, at the end of the video or you know the one you just saw in the beginning so anyway I'm just doing kind of the centers of the flowers those roses and then those other little flowers up there they were they're kind of a little too small to do any kind of blending or shading or anything so I'm just coloring them and having fun and you should feel the same you should feel free to do the same don't ever feel like oh I'm not a very good colorist I can't really uh, shade or do anything so you know that shouldn't stop you from having fun and playing and trying because that's how you learn and that's how you improve and that's how you'll get better so you should certainly don't let that impede you from um, from giving it a, a go so anyway um, one of the things I am doing here is trying to dry off my brush because um, I this is a very watery brush and I got a little bit too much water on those blue flowers so I wanted to, to pull some of that back and I did feel like those blue ones were a little bit bigger 
and you can kind of see the shading a little bit more so I wanted them to be a little bit darker on the bottom than on the top and I'm doing the same thing with the leaves I'm using that green distress ink uh, marker and I'm trying to put more of the 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 darker you know color at the bottom and then kind of pull it out with some water to make it a little bit lighter at the top and for the little tiny leaves I'm just coloring them I'm not worrying about shading at all so when this is all done I'm going to end up cutting them out and placing them around that beautiful die cut that I have on the card there which you can see in the finished image but um, right now I'm just having fun coloring these and I think it's so fun and so relaxing to color I really love it um, you know you just it clears your mind of all the other thoughts that you have in the in your mind because you're just focusing on where you want the color and how you want it to be and it's just kind of a relaxing and fun activity I think anyway so um, this Simon Says Kit card kit is really cool. I like the supplies. They're very high quality supplies. Um, I, this is the first time I've ever uh, subscribed to the kit. So I can't really speak um, with experience uh, or, you know, in depth about the quality or, or what I like or don't like about it because this is the first time I received the kit. I will say, though, that even though the products are very... Um, quality products that you get you, you, they don't give you a whole bunch of different stuff like I know that I also recently subscribed to the Spellbinders card kit of the month and they give you so much stuff in there they even give you adhesive um, to be able to make your cards they give you 12 card bases and envelopes and everything so um, you know depending on what your purposes are you might want to really think about the kit that you decide to, to subscribe to if you do choose to do so because you want to make sure it's going to fit your needs and and uh, be a good fit for you for this one um, I think that people who are really enjoy being creative would really enjoy this kit because uh, the supplies are wonderful and they're coordinated well together but with the spell binders um, you get a lot of pattern paper that really goes well together um, and that just helps you uh, with a lot of die cuts little die cut shapes so that really helps you kind of put together a card quickly without a lot of thought this one I think you have to put a little more thought into designing the cards from this this kit so that's just a little that's just my opinion um, for what it's worth and uh, you know so I hope that it helps you if you're trying to decide on what card kits to get and not get so now I've cut out this uh, die cut from the uh, from the same paper that I colored the watercolor paper um, that I colored the flowers on and I love it because it's got a beautiful texture uh, if you've watched me make cards for any length of time you'll know that I love texture on paper so anyway that's really nice I love that background now another choice you could do if you don't like that green there is a really pretty pink solid color uh, that comes in the this kit also so you could back that with pink instead of the green and then on the side there where I put that um, striped green and white pattern paper you could do the there's a there's a there's kind of a I think a, like a diagonal uh, pattern paper that's pink that comes in this kit so you could use that on the side too so if you wanted to do pink instead of green you could do that or um, I'm sure there's also an option for blue if you wanted to do blue I didn't I don't know if there's a solid uh, blue pattern paper but you could certainly use the extra half of the blue uh, card stock that came in the kit that I'm using here as a card base so you could either do pink or blue or green it's entirely up to you and I just wanted to cut out those flowers and put them around the word beautiful so that's why I chose to stamp only the flower portion of that stamp the window is beautiful too though I mean there there are a lot of options that you have with this kit so it's a quality kit I'm not trying to speak bad of it but I'm just saying that for um, you know for uh, if you're trying to whip together a quick card I think that it's easier to use the spell binders because there's a lot of supplies that just help you put everything together more quickly and all of your supplies are right there uh, to make it so anyway um, I'm almost done with the front of the card I decide that I do want to take the last two little flowers that I have and put them up by the thank you and down by the friend because there's they're only like two little flowers so I'm gonna do that in a moment here but right now I'm just finishing off these ones and I think that's so pretty I love that those butterflies on that pattern paper they're so dainty and feminine and beautiful I just love it
So um, just straightening up a little piece there and then I'm going to get to putting those uh, little individual flowers up by the thank you and the friend. So these are kind of tiny, kind of hard to handle with your hand and scissors there. Again, I'm moving my paper as much as possible instead of my scissors. That makes it so much easier to fussy cut out these little tiny um, images. Now this one I had forgotten to color that leave there so I just go ahead and um, take my block again and and just color it real quick that leaf with a little bit of that green that was left on my acrylic block there and I don't know why you can't see it because it's certainly in person you can definitely see it that's just kind of weird but anyway um, now I'm gonna work on the inside of the card now this is absolutely optional you don't have to do this but I'm just gonna cut little one inch by one inch squares and put them uh, in the card on the inside and you can see that middle one's not quite an inch so I go ahead and redo it here and then I'm gonna take that green strip and and trim it down so that you that you can only see um, that white strip in the middle of each one and then I'm going to put those on the sides of those squares just so that it's reminiscent of the front of the card the same design kind of carries over to the inside that's on the outside and uh, once I'm done with that I'll go ahead and use those words over to the left there those black and white words um, to put a greeting or to put a sentiment inside the card now um, I went ahead and chose to cut apart some of these words which you certainly can feel free to do as well so that you can create the message that you want and you know customize it for whatever occasion or event that you're trying to celebrate so um, I did have to take the uh, blue distress marker to write in the words that I couldn't find but if I would have tried harder I probably could have found something that said pr pretty much the same thing um, so sending wishes for a happy day and I moved the happy day over a little bit so it would kind of align with the large portion where I wrote in for a so that's the card for today I hope you had fun and if you enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for taking the time to watch the video today um, and I hope you have a wonderful day